Hey, you. Oh. What the? Huh? Uh. That's odd. The sense sudden. What could this mean? D do I just keep going? You're slow. Hey, what's going on here? I already explained this to you, didn't I? This is my concealment spell. I can hide buildings, humans, and even smells. It's what I use to hide Lady Tamayo's clinic. That's why you won't find it unless you're with me. All right, but you need to go a little slower or else I... Let's get on with it. We will not have Lady Tamayo waiting on us. And off he goes again. If I don't get closer, I'm gonna lose this scent. Why can't he just wait for us? Jeez, how is he so fast? I feel so frustrated. Wait, I know. It's because he called Nezuko ugly. Yushiro just doesn't get it. Nezuko isn't ugly. Stay focused. Don't lose the scent. Let's try that again! Mm -hmm. 
Up to Yushiro so we can take a look at Nezuko again. There's an entire house hidden back here? Hurry up. You better make sure you don't offend the lady in any way. Got it? Come in. I've returned, my lady. I'm sorry that I left everything for you to take care of. So how's she doing? She'll make a full recovery. But her husband had to be locked up. He's restrained in the basement. Isn't it difficult treating humans? With all that blood, I mean. Is that what you think? She chokes back her own drool when she treats a human? Because demons can't control themselves? Don't do that. Treating humans is not all that difficult, actually. At least, for me. But it is different for other demons. I have modified my body's physiology quite considerably. And I've removed Kibutsuji's curse. What curse? And what kind of changes? Why don't we go somewhere we can sit down and talk? I need to hear your side of the story as well. I see. Now I understand what happened. In that case, I think I can certainly be of help to you. But first, I would like to continue where I left off and tell you a bit more about ourselves. As I said earlier, we are demons. However, I made several adjustments to our bodies so we could continue to live without harming any human beings. As a result, we can survive on just a small amount of human blood. Wait, blood? So you're saying... I understand if you find it distasteful, but I buy it from those in poverty. I tell them I'll use it for transfusions. But of course, I never take enough blood to impair anyone. No wonder. That would explain why neither one of them has the same scent as a normal demon. And Yushiro needs even less blood than I do, since I'm the one who turned him into a demon. You turned him? But... how? How did I do it? Well, as far as anyone knows, Kibutsuji is the only one who can create demons. And that is more or less accurate. I tried for over 200 years, and still Yushiro was my only successful transformation. What? I'm sorry, I should clarify. Creating more demons is not one of my goals. I only attempt to do so when necessary, on the terminally ill or injured and only when they won't otherwise survive. And even in those cases, I always ask in advance if they would truly prefer to live on as a demon. Her scent is pure. No signs of deception. I think I can trust her. Miss Tamayo, once someone becomes a demon, is there a way to turn them back again? A way to make a demon human again? There is. <sighs> Please, tell me how! There's always some form of medicine or aid, no matter the wound or ailment. That said, I don't yet know how to turn a demon back into a human. But I promise we will find a way. We are quite dedicated to establishing such a treatment. 
The first step involves studying the blood of a number of different demons, which means I have two favors to ask you. First, I'd like permission to study your sister's blood. Second, we need more samples. I'd like you to retrieve them from demons that have Kibutsuji's blood running strong through their veins. Nezuko's condition is extremely rare, perhaps entirely unique. I understand she was asleep for two years. I believe her body changed during that time. In most cases, that long without food, neither human flesh nor the blood of an animal, would undoubtedly cause any demon to grow violent. However, against all odds, Nezuko is showing none of those signs. That miracle could be the key to finding a solution. Nezuko... But my second request is not a simple one. When I say demons with Kibutsuji's blood, I mean demons with powers like those of Kibutsuji himself. Extracting blood from that kind of demon won't be easy. So, what do you think? Are these requests acceptable, if not pleasant? If it's really the only way, then I'll do it. Besides, if you study all that blood, and you can create this medicine, then it won't just be Nezuko, will it? A whole lot of other people will be saved too. Yes, they will. <sighs> oh no! Get down! Turns out you were right, Yahaba. This building just materialized out of nowhere. The handiwork of someone using a blood demon art that can hide objects. But that won't erase their footprints. You can't fool my eyes. Hmm. We're supposed to be tracking down a demon slayer. But is he keeping company with demons? I have to say, Susamaru, your way of doing things is just so immature. Utterly careless. Oh, stop whining. Who cares about dust? My Tamari just uncovered their hiding place. Did Kibutsuji send those two? Their scents are different than any other demons I've ever met. They're stronger. Or thicker, maybe. It feels heavy inside my lungs. Oh, we're looking for a demon slayer who wears Hanafuda earrings. That would be you, right? They're targeting me? Who's having fun? I know I sure am. You're about to be killed by one of the 12 Kizuki. Doesn't that make you feel special? 12 Kizuki? They're directly under Kibutsuji. Now then, let the games continue, until morning comes, and you're all dead! Miss Tamayo, are these the kind of demons you need? I'd presume so. Got it. All right, then their blood will be yours!